All right, guys, what's going on? So we are taking a look at a video. All right, guys, what's going on? So we are taking a look at a video. Let me close some of these epic tabs. We're taking a look at a video by Kangaval. Uh, just talking about the Phoenix buffs. I know I'm a bit late, but I wanted to actually play around with them. And I haven't really had time to as I've been moving. And now the PBE is down. So I just have to watch a video. I was going to like be in the range and going over them. But we're going to have to watch a video on it. So... Here are the new changes, and here are my thoughts, and here's the reason I think that they aren't really going to do much, and Phoenix's pick rate is still going to be very low. Yes, it's going to go up by, like, maybe 3 or 4%, so, you know, from, like, a 1% pick rate to maybe a 5% pick rate, 6% pick rate, but he is still going to be the worst duelist. Now, I will say, they did the same thing with Yoru, I was talking to my friend about this, how they introduced some small buffs to Yoru before they gave him a massive rework, which actually made him a viable character. So I'm assuming, and me and a couple other people are assuming, that what's going to happen is that they're going to buff him now, they're gonna see how it works, and then from there, they're going to make a rework. So that's kind of my opinion on how it's gonna happen, and I'm gonna explain why I think these changes are not good enough, at least these current changes are not nearly good enough to actually place him in a position that I would choose him over any other characters. I was going to make a Phoenix like montage highlight reel today, but I simply didn't have enough clips because I don't really play Phoenix anymore because he's bad. Like I can still play him at my rank, but why would I, you know, like his utility when you get shut down with him, it's one of the worst feelings ever. People that know how to play against Phoenix make playing Phoenix horrible. So I will say the flashbang change, five seconds, pretty good. Pretty good, right? 1 .1, because his blind was just, it was so bad previously, right? It was absolutely horrible. Like, when I would throw a flash with Phoenix, it literally felt like every single time I would flash them and then I would peek if I were to throw a normal curveball. If I were to peek after that, almost every single time they are 100% unblind right and they're they're ready to shoot me it's like the blind does nothing a lot of the times when i would take fights with phoenix i have to run it through in my head and debate to myself whether or not flashing is even worth giving away my position if i'm about to swing or giving away and choreographing my my next swing that's how bad like how how bad phoenix's flash was it was to the point where it was literally a debate of is dry peeking this just better because this flash is going to do absolutely nothing in this instance there's such a low chance that they are still blind when I peek, that kind of thing, right? So this is a good change. I don't know if it needs to be longer. I don't know if it needs to pop quicker, but I think this is a good change. All of these are good changes, right? Pretty much all of these are good changes, but it's more of a question of if it needs to be even more, right? 1.5 seconds flash wind up. So that is a long flash. Like that's a good flash Time for once. From 0.7 seconds to point. The wind up is quicker. Uh, I haven't had a chance to play against it, but from everyone that I've talked to, that has had a chance to play against it, they do not like playing against it. So I'm excited for that, at least. Maybe his flashes will be semi-viable now. Uh, and I'm, I'm excited to see what kind of new flashes I'm able to kind of lab up after this change, you know? There were a lot of flashes that I couldn't really do because they wouldn't pop quick enough, but I had them kind of labbed out. And I, I tried doing them in games, they just wouldn't work. So I just never really released, like, what the flash would look like. Uh, some of them are pretty cool, so maybe I'll be able to make up a new flash. I guess we'll see. But this is a huge change. The actual flash durations, the, the flash duration is massive. The windup is pretty good. Uh, but I think the flash duration is the biggest change that he needed by far. Five seconds. Your weapon will equip Elliot. So this one's, I think this one's stupid, personally. I have been killed. So I've been playing Valorant for, since release, right? And I've been playing mainly Phoenix for almost the entirety. I have been killed maybe like two or three times pulling my weapon out after I throw my wall. Maybe two or three times, right? So it's really not that big of a change, right? Uh, I guess it's more of a quality of life change, but this one is kind of pointless. Like this isn't going to change how he's played. This isn't really going to do anything for him. It's just a bit of quality of life, makes things a bit easier, and maybe it'll save you once or twice like a year, so. If you stop bending the wall while in use and after using your ultimate, you will regain- Now this one. Shield. This one should have been in the game <laughs> the entire time. This should have always been in the game, right? Uh, <laughs> this is just a given that Phoenix should be getting his uh, shields back after all. 
So yes, this is going to make him better, obviously. His ult is going to be a lot better. It doesn't... You, you can't just, like, say, I have Phoenix ult, so I'm not going to buy armor, right? You're probably going to want to buy armor because you actually get to keep it. So that's going to change how he's played in that sense. Uh, but it is nice that if I want to entry with Phoenix, I will still get my shields and full health back. That is pretty massive. You had previously. Still, though, should have been in the game prior to this. This means that if you start with 50 shields and take damage with your ultimate, you will then go back to having 50 shields, whereas it used to leave you with zero shields. Now to small buff. So, that is all we have for Phoenix. And I'm not going to, like, complain and, like, sit here and whine about it, because I know what they're doing, right? They're going to give him a rework eventually. They have to. He is still not going to be good. These changes are not nearly enough to make him a playable, viable character at the high levels where you can consistently play him, right? Like with players like, uh, with characters like Jet, you can always find a place to play Jet. You can always find a place to play pretty much all your controllers. You can always find a place to play Chamber. Phoenix will never be to that point unless he gets a very large rework. Now, some of the things that I thought that you could change, and I've been saying this for a long time, is one of the things you could do is add either a burn effect, where if you walk through his wall or his molly, you get burn tick over time. So you take a little bit of damage from burning uh, over time, rather than just when, you, when you're touching, like physically standing inside of it, that's when you take damage now. But if it were to add a burn effect over the course of like three or four seconds, you take like two ticks of damage a second or something, probably a bit more, doesn't sound like enough something like that maybe even add a vulnerability effect just like viper's wall maybe increase the duration of his wall you could also do that but i don't think that one would be very good and also being able to cancel your alt everyone says this this is one of the biggest things that every single person wants this is one thing that i have always wanted phoenix to have is the ability to cancel his ultimate because if he cannot cancel his ultimate and you have already fulfilled your purpose as entering onto site and you want to get back to your body, let's say you run out, four of your teammates are on site, you know someone's flanking, but you can't do anything about it because you're already way too far pushed up, kind of holding like, uh, take Bind for example, you push around truck and you start holding CT or pushing into CT, there's no way you can get back to your body in time. You have to tell your teammates, if your teammates aren't alive or aren't able to get to it, then you are just in a horrible position. There have been too many times where I will entry onto site for my team, and instantly, when I do that, I'm getting shot in the back from flank because my entire team floods onto site. Nobody's watching the flank. My body is still back where the team was eight seconds ago. You know, this is something that Phoenix should definitely have. Phoenix needs to have the ability to cancel his ultimate. I don't think he should be able to move where he starts his ultimate from. That just sounds stupid, right? That's, that's too much. He just needs the ability to actually be able to cancel it whenever he wants. Uh... That is one of the biggest ways I have died <laughs> on Phoenix for a stupid reason is because I have no ability to cancel his ult and I've always had to like find specific spots to ult from just to counteract dying from people on flank. Like on B site bind, if you walk up short, you can tuck in the little cubby before you actually enter onto short. There's like a cubby, you can jump up on the box, you can jump up on the ledge and that's where I usually ult from with Phoenix because nobody ever ults that. Brimstone's always ult out market. Sova's always ult out market. Nobody ults that little cubby. Nobody expects you to come back to that little cubby when they're flanking. So Phoenix needs the ability to cancel his ult because I shouldn't have to be finding like specific spots to uh, basically hide from flankers when I come back out of my ult form. I think him pulling his coat should also be reduced. The duration of that should be massively reduced. It takes way, way, way too long. Uh, aside from that, I don't really think much should happen. I guess we'll see how the flashes play out. I think his flashes might actually be in a decent spot now with the buffs. But aside from that, the rest of his kit's kind of bad. His molly, uh, it's pretty good. It's just a molly, right? It's not as good as the other mollies. It's better than Viper Snakebite, obviously, uh, when she doesn't have vulnerability placed on somebody with her orb. Like, just her base Snakebite is worse than Phoenix's molly. But Phoenix's molly, it's just a molly, right? Like, you could do more things to it. You could also add the burn effect to that as well. Uh, hypothetical burn effect, right? That'd be pretty cool. So, there's a lot of things they can do with Phoenix, and I'm really hoping they actually take the time to think of a good rework for him. And actually kind of lab out what would be the best changes for Phoenix without making him A, too broken, because it's very easy, I think, for a character like Phoenix and with this kit to make him way too busted strong. But, 
they need to have enough and they need to be able to find a way to make his playstyle fit within Valorant because right now it just doesn't. His utility is not good enough to warrant a pick on a team. Whenever I pick Phoenix, I feel like I am trolling. When I could be playing Chamber, I could be playing Jet, two of my best characters, right? I pick Phoenix for content, and yes, I do enjoy playing Phoenix, but he's just not good. If I want to rank up, I can't be playing Phoenix consistently because there are just games where I will get shut down no matter what I do. My utility does not help me whatsoever because people are just countering the way I'm using my util. So yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys later.